Hello, Just Too Good here, and today we're counting down the 10 most violent LEGO sets since it's nearing Halloween. Because of the subject matter, I must warn any kids under 13 that you should get your parents' permission to watch this video. Don't take this list so seriously, because I'm having fun with these choices. There will be a lot of exaggeration. These could be based on a violent or dark concept, or have a violent play feature. I'm trying to avoid licensed characters that are violent but appear in non-violent sets like Itchy, Scratchy, Heath Ledger's Joker, Mullah Ram, or Butch Cavadesh. Each music track will be listed in the bottom right hand corner as they play. Without further ado, let's get into this. Starting off the list are sets with play features focusing on lava. I'll give two examples. The LEGO Ninjago Lava Full set from 2015 and LEGO Agents Volcano Base from 2008. The Lava Full set has a collapsing feature for the bridge right over the lava. With the pull of the lever, you can make Cole or Slevin molt to death in the lava. And for the Volcano Base, an impending doom is to rescue Agent Fuse, and if you don't, he'll be dropped into the lava. Ain't that fun, kids? Of course, the impending doom is still something that can be avoided, and both have a potential fatality count of 1, which is why these lava sets are low on the list. Next on the list is a Toy Story 3 set from 2010, The Trash Compactor Escape. You know, one of the darkest scenes in any Pixar movie is now a play set for ages 7 to 12. We all cried during this scene, or at least I did, and feel less embarrassed I'm projecting my opinion as a fact. But anyways, the whole play feature is that the builder can save Woody and Ham from the incinerator with a crane. If you don't save them in time, they burn to ashes in the incinerator and cease to exist. Of course, in the movie, they escape the incinerator, and the fact that they do puts this low on the list, despite the potential body count being two. Eighth on the list is the LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean 2011 set, The Cannibal Escape. I mean, the name says it all. Cannibal Escape. Kids, if you don't know what a cannibal is, the LEGO shop at home explains it. It's nearly dinner time in the cannibal village when our pirate heroes Captain Jack Sparrow and Will Turner realize they're the main course. Cannibals are humans who eat other humans. So the ultimate threat of this set is Will Turner and Jack Sparrow being roasted alive as they included a spit and then being eaten by the cannibals. Sure, the potential body count here is two and we know they escape in the film, but the fact they actually included cannibals and a spit lands this set at the number eight spot. The Vampire Castle set from the 2012 Monster Fighters line is an excellent set, and I think part of that is because of its stellar play features. But some of these play features are pretty grim and violent. For example, one is the Pit of Spikes. Pull the trapdoor lever, and the minifigure standing above, shown here as Rodney Rathbone, gets impaled by spikes. Let me explain it this way. If a set has spikes, I don't think that's inherently violent. But having a trap of no escape that is a Pit of Spikes, that's a pretty gruesome feature. This isn't the only entry on the list that includes minifigures getting impaled by spikes, and the next entry with spikes is even more dark. Anyways, another violent play feature is the hanging skeleton in the jail. Sure, it's not as bad as it's just a plain Lego skeleton, but still, the way that it seems to have died is gruesome when you think about it. It was trapped in the cell and left to hang from the ceiling. That seems like a slow and painful death if you ask me. Alright, the Cars 2 set Oil Rig Escape isn't a violent set for the most part, it's because of one build included. You see that little cube with eyes on it? That was a living car, Leland Turbo, a secret agent car that who was crushed into a cube after being caught by Grem and Professor Z. In the movie, the cube doesn't even have eyes, but I guess LEGO wanted to make it more cartoony, and that's why it's not higher on the list. However, yeah, he's dead in the movie. He is crushed, his body got crushed, the sentient car is dead. The cube is his corpse. That is dark. Hey kids, here's a spooky Halloween fact. The 2014 LEGO movie set Lord Business's Evil Lair was originally supposed to include the penny that decapitated Vitruvius in the movie. You can see this missing feature in the official set images released online. Unfortunately, the final set skipped on this feature, so no decapitation took place. Wacky. Next on the list is the Zombies, a LEGO Monster Fighters 2012 set. Okay, this one is blatant. Look at the bride, there's blood leaking from her mouth, and she has a bloodshot eye. People, and I'm sure LEGO themselves, have said the blood from the mouth is worn away lipstick. Yeah, you're not fooling anyone. Not only that, but let's take a look at the concept of that set. Jack McHammer, the hero of the set, is in a graveyard with a vehicle that has dual hammers on the side. He's going to smash these poor corpses to bits, there's no doubting that. 
and as you push the cart, the hammers move. One is clockwise, the other is counterclockwise. The clockwise hammer is going to smash down the zombies into the ground. The undead will die again, crushed into a million, or in this case, four pieces. Poor zombies. Fourth on the list is the Portal of Atlantis 2010 set. The build itself isn't violent, except for one little part which gives the whole set a pretty deep lore. To the left of the build, there's a LEGO Aquarius helmet on a skeleton minifigure. If you don't know what Aquarius is, it was an underwater LEGO theme that preceded LEGO Atlantis by three years. Thus, what is implied here is that this was once a living LEGO minifigure who couldn't make it past Portal of Atlantis and was left to die. Their flesh was ripped away, and a skeleton is all that is left of their body. Not even their operator's crew members were able to recover the body. Let that settle in for a second. Sure, if this was a normal skeleton, it wouldn't be as gruesome. However, this one has that bit of humanity on it, the operator's helmet. To me, that makes it much more human and much more dark, and that's why I feel it deserves a number 4 spot. Third on the list is the Rancor Pit, a LEGO Star Wars Return of the Jedi set from 2013. The scene this set is based on involves the death of two space creatures, both included as figures, the Gamorrean Guard, who gets eaten by the Rancor, and the Rancor itself, who gets crushed by the gate. The official description of the set acknowledges both. Battle the Rancor with the bone before he eats the Gamorrean Guard. Then, find the hidden compartment with a secret key or drop the gate on the space beast before it's too late. The back of the box even shows the Rancor munching on the Gamorrean Guard. Just because they aren't humanoid creatures doesn't mean they're not valued lives, man. The Gamorrean Guard had a family. And you can see from the movie, after the Rancor dies, his owner, Malakili, also appears in the set, mourning the loss. This was his pet. This was what he raised since birth. Luke is a cold-hearted killer. Well, I mean, it was self-defense, but still, killer. The runner-up of the list is the Temple Escape, an Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark set from 2008. This set is a double whammy of darkness. First, there's the looming doom of the boulder. Sure, one of the most exciting scenes in Hollywood history, but what happens if Indy didn't outrun it? He'd be crushed, dude. His bones would be grounded to powder. He'd be super dead. We all know Indy does escape the boulder, and this set is meant to recreate the scene, and because of that, it isn't really that violent of an inclusion. Heck, an adventurous set had the same thing in 2003. However, there is one part that I'm amazed they even included. It's a Tipo in the spiky wall trap, which is where he is killed in the scene this set is trying to replicate. You can see he gets impaled and it's pretty gruesome. The Lego box itself shows the Tipo right near the spikes dodging them. Too bad he couldn't dodge them in the movie. I mean sure, Satipo did betray Indy by leaving him behind, but that still doesn't make his death any less grisly. But now you can recreate his terrible death with a play feature. And in my opinion the most violent LEGO set is Palpatine's Arrest, a LEGO Star Wars set from 2012 where all the good guys in this set are killed in the scene the set is based on. I love how the description advertises how you can defeat the evil Sith Lord. Well, that doesn't happen in the movie. Besides the Helm Zeep, which I forgot, I mean, avoided adding to this list, this is probably the LEGO license set with the highest body count for those killed. Four out of the six minifigures in this set are friggin' wrecked in this scene, and LEGO doesn't even try to hide it. But where Helm's Deep doesn't make light of play features to kill the characters, Palpatine's Arrest's official LEGO description advertises what they call the Mace Windu Window Catapult. You know, to recreate Windu's death from being launched from Palpatine's lightning. I love how even after they named the feature, they then go to say avoid being catapulted. That's funny. So there you go. Those were the 10 most violent LEGO sets in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, like I said, don't take this list seriously at all, it's all in good fun. And look, just because I called any of these sets violent doesn't mean I don't like them. I hope you guys do not have a violent Halloween, but rather a fun and happy one, and be safe out there. Peace out. Bye.